Good morning, everybody. So t right now I'm gonna show you how to add on the clay now that you have the tin foil on your um, finger sponge. I'm gonna show you how to add on the clay. So I've already rolled out some slabs. I made them, you know, one thickness of the tongue depressor thick. So, you know, tongue depressor on either side that thick. Now I chose to make mine into kind of long skinny slabs because I felt like that would work the best for you know adding it on to my wire and you can see I've already done two of them so I'm just finishing off this third one. So when I go to do this I'm going to start kind of at the base and I'm going to wrap it around and if it doesn't touch all the way, that's okay. If it does, great. And if it doesn't, that's fine too. And I'm just gonna kind of start letting it set around the tin foil. And if I need to, like I'm not gonna be able to do all three pieces at once. So if I need to, I can kind of trim some pieces to kind of get the shape that I need. And if you have a little bit of overlap, that's okay. You don't want a ton of overlap. And when I get to the end of kind of like a finger, basically, I just kind of pull the extra off, but keep that slab because we'll use it on one of the shorter pieces. Now on the end, I just kind of round it out and I'm just gonna gently kind of mush it, uh, you know, super technical term, mush it, um, until it kind of matches the tin foil. And then once you are pretty sure that it's going to stick on there, then you can go ahead and start the next one. So I have this, you know, kind of extra clay left over from that first one. So again, I'm just kind of wrapping it around. And if you have any gaps, don't worry about it. We'll fill it in at the end. Do, do, do. Kind of round out the top a little bit. Your goal here is just to get everything kind of covered. All right and just kind of, you know, into the basic shape. So now I'll add on this one. Now I chose to go for orange. There's a wide range of colors that you could use for your finger sponge. The most common that I've seen online are either like a pink or a reddish or an orange color, but you know, it's, we're not making it 100% realistic. So if you have a specific color scheme in mind or you only have, you know, certain colors left of your clay, that's okay. Um, you can use whatever color you have or want. Okay, so now when you get to most of it covered and you have these little funky spots that aren't covered, go ahead and just take like a small piece and blend it in. So you can always kind of trim something that's similar to the shape that you're gonna be covering and just kind of add it in. And the main thing is like, if it's not, you know, perfect, that's okay, but you don't wanna have any like funky square edges. You wanna at least round everything because we're gonna add texture on, but we're gonna do that in just a minute. So the main part here, like I said, is just making sure that you get all the tin foil covered. Now, and if it doesn't touch at the very base all the way, like if there's a little bit of gapping, that's okay for right now. Because especially right now, while we're just kind of, you know, getting the basic shape and everything. If it doesn't touch right here, that's okay. Cause that allows us to kind of bend and move it and stuff. And if we need to, like if we have some extra and we're all done and we're, you know, ready and we don't need to move it anymore or anything, then we could add a little bit more of this color down there to make it solid. Or, you know, at the very end, we could make like a little rock pile or something that goes right there. So if it doesn't touch, just like your seaweed, if your seaweed doesn't touch, or if this doesn't touch, all the way to the base yet, that is okay. The main thing is you want the coverage and you want any square edges kind of blended in a little bit because that'll be ready, ready for texturing. All right, thanks everybody.